everybody! I'm Andrea from the Wilmot Public Library and we're going to do another baby time story time. And um, this is my friend Bear. Bear is my demonstration baby because most of baby time we do in a, a grown-up's lap. Um, either sitting this way or so you can have your baby sit this way facing you which is very beneficial for them to see you making the words in the rhymes and the songs. Um, or you can do it lying down for our youngest babies, right in your lap or laying down on the floor. So you're going to learn some rhymes and songs today that you could use anywhere, at bedtime, uh, in the car, um, at bath time, at meal time, all kinds of um, fun, fun things to do together that help you bond with your child, but also to help with their early literacy or their pre-literacy skills. And it's a lot of fun. So we're going to start, oh, before we start, I wanted to show you my, my new mask. Check this out. This is my new mask. It looks like, make sure it's over my nose, looks like books, doesn't it? I, I just bought it. It looks like a bookshelf. Isn't it cool? Yeah. And Bear likes to try on my mask, too. Right, Bear? Can you try that one on? Oh, Bear likes that one. That's a pretty one. I like this one a lot. Okay. Uh, let's start with our hello song. Can you wave hello? Good. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's clap our hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? How are you, babies? I miss you. Let's make our hands go clap, clap, clap. Same tune. Make your hands go clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Make your hands go clap, clap, clap. My sweet baby. All right. We are ready to go now. Okay. Let's do bumping up and down in my little red wagon. You know what else is fun? If you're out and about with the stroller, you can sing bouncing up and down in my little stroller, whatever color stroller, stroller uh, you have. Well, I'm going to do wagon right now. Here we go. I'm going to turn Bear around so you can watch me. Ready? Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Nice, right? So we zoom it again? Let's have a little bounce. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Yay! Okay. Um, next we're going to do a smooth road. So with this bounce, first we sway for a smooth road, then we bounce on a bumpy road, and then we really bounce, if your baby's older, on a rough road, and then, uh-oh, a hole, boop, and they go down a little bit. Lots of fun. Here we go. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Uh oh, a hole! Woo! Did you like that, Bear? Bear thought that was so funny. So funny. Okay. Um, another rhyme that we like to do is Johnny Whoops. We're doing a lot of Johnny Whoops this session. And the way we do it is this Johnny, 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 Johnny Whoops. Johnny Whoops. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Simple, right? Yeah, and maybe you can try it with other names. You can try it with all different names on each finger with a whoops, like that. Super fun. Should we do it with the other hand? Here we go. I'm going to do it with bear. Bear, 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 whoops, bear, whoops, bear, 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 bear. Mm-hmm. There you go. And you know, these bounces are a great way um, for children to feel the beat with their body, as well as... Um, seeing the rhythm and hearing the rhythm with your words. So really, there's a lot of benefits to this too. Okay, so um, next we're going to do slowly, slowly, which is our little tickle rhyme. 
if your baby enjoys being tickled, and you can tell if they can or not, um, you can do slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the garden rail. And here comes the mouse. <laughs> Quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, all around the house. Ha <laughs> ha, I can almost hear you all laughing. Should we try that again? More? Let's do that some more. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the garden rail. Here comes the mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, runs the little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly, all around the house. Yay! That was fun. Okay, next we're going to play peekaboo. If you have a scarf at home or a napkin, you can, or you can just use your hands, we're going to sing our popular peekaboo song. Here we go. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek a -boo. ha ha. So great, you want to hold my scarf for me? Oh, next we're going to do um bar of soap. So another thing you can do with the scarf is pretend you're getting a bath like this. You can pretend you're giving your arms a bath. Okay, you lay down right here. I'm going to give your arms a bath, and your forehead, and your ears, and we're going to sing our bath time song. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I'd slippy and I'd slidey over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. <laughs> Bear really like that one. Okay, Bear. Next, we're going to practice our sign language. Um, some important signs for babies to know. Last week, we talked about milk, and we mentioned more, more. Um, another great one to, to know is hurt. If your um, anything hurts, you can point your fingers like this, a little twist and a couple of taps, hurt. And so um, I've heard stories of babies showing adults that something hurts and where it hurts. Um, if they get their teething, uh, there's a story of a baby who signed hurt by his gums in the middle of the night. Hurt. And the parents knew what to do to help. Um, so if you ever stub your toe or hurt your knee, which I do all the time, you can do hurt. I hurt my knee. I hurt my head. I have a headache. Um, your baby will start to get the idea that this is a sign for hurt and can use that to help you help them. Okay, um, we are going to do our shaker uh, song, uh, shaker rhyme and then we're going to do our goodbye song already, right? Okay, can you get your shaker toys in heaven? Here we go. Shake shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulder, shake them on your head, shake them on your tummy, and tuck them into bed. Good night, shakers. Was that fun? You want to give your shakers another shake? Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulders, shake them on your head gently, shake them over your tummy, and tuck them into bed. Is that a silly shaker song? Yeah. You sit right here, Bear. We're going to sing the more we get together. This is my ukulele. See? It has four strings.
all you grown-ups and babies stay well, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.